I'm Officer Carney with Griffith PD. I think people's misconception is that you know the police are always dealing you know with with bad guys and the criminal element all the time and realistically that's probably like the smallest um, part of our job majority of the people we deal with are good people I handle investigations that are assigned to me by the detective bureau but then I'm also able to uh, jump on the road um, start my own case sheets uh, my own investigations I've been here 11 and a half years how many kids do you have? I have two kids I have a son who's uh, gonna be three and my daughter is gonna be four okay Fun ages. So yes, um, trying ages sometimes. But yeah. <laughs> We're headed to Bear Girl Elementary School right now. Um, Griffith PD uh, hosted a No Shave November campaign uh, to benefit uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Um, we raised uh, about eleven thousand dollars this year between fundraisers, uh, online donations, and then the school participants in Penny Wars. So I'm, I'm gonna swing by there real quick, and just let the, the winning class know um, that they want a pizza party. Uh, because unfortunately, some of these uh, kids only you know see the police if they're called to their house. Um, and we'd like to you know show more positive uh, spin on police work. So we talked to them in a neutral location and, and you know show them, hey, we're here if you need something, you know. And your class actually raised uh, the most points for um, Berger here, so you guys are actually gonna get a pizza party. <laughs> So we have uh, officer down button, band down buttons on our radios, um, and when they are activated, they make an alarm it goes off over the radios, so we can uh, check check on their status. One of them was just activated, but sounds like it was accidental. All right, doesn't look like anybody's home right now. So we'll uh, definitely send an officer back. We do them uh, twice a day if we can't make contact, just to confirm. And that's what we find a lot of. Um, sure. People are working or whatever. All right, so we'll do this other one here. Just another offender we'll have to follow up with uh, later in the afternoon. Uh, like I said before, uh, a lot of times you get people that oh, they, oh, I'm sorry. How are you? I'm sorry, I'm gonna bother you. Hey, it's, uh, so another relative um, confirmed that he stays here, but he's at work. They just got a call of a, of a trespassing. It's like uh, one family member is restricted from being at this address here, and they're supposedly on their way over here. Uh, Corporal Tharp just arrived on scene. He's going to make contact. He's asked for second unit if they were close just to stand by. Um, from what we can tell, the residence is secure at ground level. And uh, it doesn't appear that um, the, the tenants here are home. So, and the vehicles for the residents aren't home. So, oh, hi, how are you? Be safe out there, you guys, and have a good house. We will. You too. Let's check out this other uh, subject left on our uh, list of offenders today. This one's another one that was out of state, North Carolina. The uh, positives of this, we get uh, get familiar with the subjects, uh, their vehicle normally. One we just completed now um, was out of uh, it's got kind of listed out of North Carolina, and it was uh, indecent liberties with a, a child. So that's specific to that state's laws, um, but it meets the requirements to be on the the national registry. So when he moved here, um, they they trans transferred his uh, information to us, and then we do follow ups here. During the day, I normally when I start my shift, I'll check uh, active warrants um, in Griffith. Cook County Sheriff's Department faxed over a warrant this morning. Um, it's a, a juvenile warrant, uh, but she's an adult now. Uh, I had to do with, I believe, uh, I'll double check. I think it was like a robbery or theft. So we'll uh, we'll grab that warrant. Since it's a hard copy, they faxed over. We'll go over there and see if uh, that subject's home. So she'll go to uh, the Lake County Jail if... Uh, taken into custody, and then ultimately extradited to, uh, looks like uh, Cook County. Okay, they have any idea where she's staying? No. no? Yeah, well, if they, if she sees her, if she uh, knows where she's staying, if she wants to call us. This particular resident um, had some basic needs that related to housing. Um, she had some things going on in the house that needed to be fixed or repaired, and the weather had 
really snapped and was pretty cold. So a few of our officers got together and tried to provide her with some things that she needed. And part of that was to access our town's emergency fund. Um, she stayed in a hotel for a couple of days while her landlord rectified some of the ventilation system issues that she was having. So what we're gonna do today is make contact with her, um, ask her how things are going. You know, previously, you know, we had a high uh, volume of, of crime um, up here. There's some high profile cases that came out of here in the past. You know, from a from a patrol aspect, I know we definitely appreciate you know the work that's gone in on both sides up here to make it a you know an enjoyable environment for everybody who lives up here. When I got hired in 2008, uh, our call volume um, statistically was a lot higher. Um, our, our crime rate was a lot higher as well. What's the craziest thing you've seen in your career? I don't even know, to be honest with you. I'd have to, I'd have to think about it for a minute. There's a, there's always like ups and downs of this job. So I mean, sometimes stuff is like, you've never seen it. You're like, I'll never see this again. And then some stuff's just normal. Uh, so we have access to a uh, license plate recognition system, LPR uh, database, which uh, compiles license plates and conducts uh, uh, license checks on the driver, uh, warrants, stolen vehicles, uh, expired registration. If we uh, locate a vehicle that um, matches that, uh, the descriptors to the, the actual uh, registered owner, and we can match it off their license. So people just need to realize that, like, you know, we're humans, we're not robots, we're not computers. Like, you know, we have bad days just like everybody else does. Um, you know, but we still got to come to work and you know, and get the job done. You know, there's always, you know, something maybe in the news or something happened that, you know, kind of puts a negative spin on police work, but that's honestly probably a very small percent of, uh, of police officers out there. You know, most people are, are just like me, they're coming out here, they're, you know, trying to make a difference, trying to do good. 